Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to another live stream here. Uh, this is for the Murfrag Audio uh, new products, the WE10 and WE10 Pro, as well as the shotgun mic, which is the uh, MP10. Uh, my name is Johnny Wu. I'm the uh, product expert for Murfrag Audio. I'm also a filmmaker. I've been making movies for 22 years. I'm here with two guests, Chris and Devlin. So we're going to have each one of you guys introduce yourself. We're going to get Chris go first. Okay. Hello. Hi. Nice to be here. Uh, I'm Chris Watkins. I'm a YouTuber, photographer, videographer. Um, I review all sorts of photography and videography related products on my YouTube channel. I do lots of how to's and I've got a business on the side where I do commercial uh, projects. I shoot weddings, you name it. If it's to do with a camera or, um, or video, then I'm your man. Basically that's me in a nutshell. That was easy. How about <clears> you, Bradley? Hi, I'm Devlin. I'm with Gimbal Guru, and I help uh, Moza and Murfak Audio uh, with their products. And right now, today, I am a huge, 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 huge fan of what Murfak is doing in the audio world. And they're bringing us uh, wireless recorders with, uh, well, let me turn around there, but these cool wireless recorders with uh, internal recording. So uh, we're going to talk more about that and give them away, but leave the Johnny Woo. Thank you. So uh, a little bit of uh, housekeeping per se. So uh, we will do the questionnaire late at the end of the show. And then we just, this is an hour show. Uh, each one of our guests will ask one question. So the first person who asks the question, either on YouTube or Facebook, the first one we get, we see it here on our screen, will be the winner that, that, that answered correctly. And uh, other than that, you know, well, let's go into it. So if you see my cat, John John, jump into the screen, don't freak out. He just like to have the spotlight and do the little virtual bombing that he always do. He's meowing in the background. Um, I'm gonna get you know right now. I'm using two microphones. It's uh, the this is here. On my left is the well, your right. Your right will be the Murfrag uh, MP10, and then my my left, my your left, yeah, your left. <laughs> it's a Sennheiser 600 MK 600. So you actually hear both of the audio at this point. And I'm going to have uh, Devlin and Chris to talk about their setup and then going to talk about the, the, the microphone that we'll be talking first, which is the wireless microphone first. So I want to go first. <laughs> step forward. All right, Devlin, you can go first. <laughs> All right, I guess I step forward. Well, uh, let's talk about the uh, WE, sorry, WE10 here. Can you all my <clears throat> vowels and consonants correct? But um, the WE10, uh, personally, like, what I like about it just out of the box, as I was kind of mentioning earlier, is it has the uh, internal recording feature, which means that uh, the uh, microphone here in my right hand has a little SD card slot, which you will not be able to see in the video because it's just super tiny, but a little micro SD card. And basically this will record uh, MP3 files that are 16-bit, uh, 44, 1 kilohertz. And the audio is uh, good enough to be used as a replacement. So the idea is basically is if you lose contact with your receiver here, you always have a backup here on the uh, recorded microphone. Not saying that correctly, but on the recorded transmitter, gosh. What would you call this, uh, Chris? Uh, Throw me recorder? a bone here. <laughs> thank you, thank Audio you. recorder? <laughs> Audio recorder, thanks, bud. <laughs> Ready, just a recorder. <laughs> it's a transmitter receiver, so. Transmitter receiver, I guess in the receiver you can rec record directly. Eloquently. Wait a second. It's a receiver recorded right or transmitter? I think it's, it's transmitter. a transmitter. Transmitter, recorded. sorry. Thanks. I listened wow. to that bit. So, uh, all the audience, uh, make sure you listen carefully to the answer here. Uh, because <laughs> when we ask a question, uh, make sure that uh, you get it right. Or otherwise, you will not be in the wind, the wireless yeah. microphone, or the shotgun mic. So, we have a first question here already. Mm -hmm. Azel Bernardo. Uh, he wants oh, to know yeah, how, how, what is the running time for a full charge of the WE10. Uh, you want to go for eight it? Eight hours, yeah. isn't it? Correct. It's eight hours? Eight hours. Yeah. Okay, eight hours, right? And then the charge, char how long it take to charge? Well, I, I charged mine up for this afternoon, and it seems to take about 45 minutes, I would say. It's not mm. too bad. Seems about right. I don't have that listed, but yeah, that sounds mm. about right. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> so the WE has uh, two different versions, the WE10 and the WE10 Pro. The Pro mm. version basically has two transmitters and one uh, receiver, which means that two of those transmitters, uh, you can have two SD cards. Uh, both can have one micro SD card in it. This way you can actually use it as a recorder. Um, let's say you're at a wedding and you're, you you're, you're rec recording uh, the, 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 <laughs> the, uh, the, the wedding vow. And 
obviously somehow your camera this now the, the, was far away and the, there's a mm. signal interference and such but good thing about that is all the the groom and the bride already got recorded because the wireless microphone could have the recording in the on the transmitter to the sd card micro sd card and this way you can actually have the footage the audio have no problem with that um i did not get mine so i don't have one to show mm -hmm. i know that chris and uh definitely probably got on theirs recently so they they couldn't figure out how to set it up correctly with the system here uh live streams usually can have some problem so we have to do our best to to make it work yeah the, any the other thing said, like chris? sorry the thing you said about uh shooting a wedding and having an sd card on the transmitter is like such a game changer i've shot hundreds and hundreds of weddings over my career and i've never had that feature and the audio capture is so important and when you're stood behind a pillar in a church and you've got the the groom in front of you and you've lost that line of sight it is just game changing that murfac and other companies have started to do this but yeah it's a really nice feature to have on the we 10. yeah exactly Second that. Mm -hmm. yeah so for anybody watching this, yeah, this is all those are YouTube of the Murfag, uh, Facebook Murfag, YouTube, my YouTube account. So in all the different Facebook groups and Facebook pages. Uh, so whenever you see it, if you um, you are the first person to answer the and write the question, you will win. So it really doesn't matter where you're watching it from. Uh, this all can be in the same place. Uh, any other comments about the wireless microphone? Um, the speaking of line of sight, it's a uh, has a range of uh, ninety eight feet or thirty meters, so uh, you can go pretty darn far. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. It's a two point four gigahertz right transmission, mm. so it used a used a newest technology. Um, it does also do automatic changing channel, so you don't have to worry about channel. Mm -hmm. uh, there is also what else is there? There is also Chris, you got any comment? Yeah, I've got a couple. Um, so it's really nice. I don't know whether you'll be able to see on the on my camera if it's going to focus on it. It's trying to focus on my face. Uh, there's a little switch. There's a little switch uh, on the top side here, which allows you to turn on and off the recording, which is really nice. Um, it's actually really light, which is a great thing if you're a run and gun videographer, um, because you can put your transmitter in your hot shoe of your camera. And it doesn't really add any weight to it whatsoever. Um, and you've also got obviously a line out and a headphone jack so you can monitor your audio uh, really clearly at the same time. Uh, what else have we got? Five different levels of gain, which is really nice. So uh, if you set your camera to a really low uh, gain, then you boost up the volume on the receiver um, so you get better audio quality. So yeah, so things we, I'm a fan that's of. great. So we're only talking about the wireless microphone right now. So we're going to talk about the shotgun mic a little bit later. I know there's a whole bunch of questions already about shotgun mic, but uh, we're going to hold on for that. Uh, you may want to just ask a question again later, just in case I, I miss it again. And yes, the uh, this is actually a good question. Who wants to answer this? Which one? Uh, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It does. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the WE10 and WTNE10 uh. Pro use USB-C charging. Uh, process so it's actually pretty cool i think everything now is just moving to the w the usb c charge and someone yeah. someone asked a uh, sazzy something tv i mean we already said this but just in case you missed it it's a eight hour long battery life and 98 feet or 30 meters is the uh, distance yeah just in case you missed it so here's another question does it support jack for external microphone yeah just on the on the distance on the back of mine it says uh it says 50 meters or 165 feet Ooh. so that might be a, this might be a okay version so. yeah just in case you know actually yeah on the back of my box it says that so hmm. all right I so either one of you video. guys want to show the um jack for the external mic <laughs> <Good call. laughs> on your transmitter there should be a jack for the mic for external microphone so it comes with a sure. lot of mic yeah so oh yeah i got a lot of mic here yeah what comes with it so it comes with a lav microphone. There we go. Reaching down here to get it. Uh, and it also comes with a little wind muff here. So you can put that on there to get rid of wind noise. And we can dress it up for you right now and guess you're up. And it actually goes on relatively quick and easy. Bam. And then you can talk directly into it. it even blocks a little of the spit. <laughs> but here's one without it on there. But you can see the uh, omnidirectional microphone capsule that's built into it. And then on the side here, 
we have the 3.5 millimeter jack so you can plug in a included lavalier which also has a nice little lapel clip here so you can snap it on and wear it and secretly covertly hide it underneath your shirt a little better than that but yeah like that ta-da and now you're ready to go excellent excellent chris uh, yeah, you also get a USB-C cable, um, you get a stereo 3.5 millimeter cable, and you get a TRS lead. So I assume you mm. can plug this directly into your phone if your phone or tablet um, has got a 3.5 That is a TRS cable, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what it is. Cool. The R. Uh, so there's a question here for me. I don't know the answer for that, but potentially there's a, I think you can up the, upgrade the firmware to support Wave, but I know for a fact Wave format uh, don't have a little bit, of, little bit of smaller transmitter receiver equipment are not cable, not very well. It's not possibly not capable just because of the the resources it required to, to make it as a higher quality Wave format. It's not like this Mix Pre 6 here we have that you can actually go to 96 kilohertz uh, Wave format. So. I don't think the something some this small can do that, but um, uh, you know something we can check with uh, with Murphy to see see whether that will work. Oh, that's definitely something I'm pushing for in terms of like our future uh, designs is to up that yeah. to wave a wave or yeah. AIF file. You know, something definitely that is a standard. You know. Yeah. So yeah, see some TV. We actually talked about this earlier. Uh, yes, you can actually record into the uh, transmitter of the WE10. Uh, record it and then up to 165, 165 feet long distance and mm -hmm. very, very live is about eight hours. And, so oh, when you do oh. a wedding, that church works really well. I, I, unless your wedding is a 24 hours wedding. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Anybody have heard us? I, I seen one before, <laughs> I don't remember where, but um, any other question you guys have for throwing out there? Um, um, what is a, a good feature about this my wireless microphone? You know, I actually was going to step back just to the uh, the file format. You know, sure. I know it's not you know a WAV file. It's not you know floating thirty two bit or whatever. But surprisingly, forty four one at sixteen bit is actually pretty reasonable audio. That's actually CD quality audio. I know that doesn't sound amazing nowadays, but CD quality audio is actually surprisingly will get by uh, your ears without much trouble. So it's not yeah. the worst in the world. Yeah, it's, I it's think acceptable. I think even with the um with the audio that they recorded, you can, you you know, when you put it into a track and then you can probably, you know, like a wedding video, you probably some background music, then all the Correct. noise is already gone anyway. Yeah. So you'll protect yourself from that. How mm -hmm. much for the price for this too? That's a very good question. <laughs> Spin the wheel, you know? <laughs> Anybody knows the price? No, I don't. Let me go. Oh. Okay, I found it, I found it. Okay, here you go. Um, the WE10, the no regular version, is $169. Mm. The pro version is $249. That's on the murfragaudio.com. You can check That's out the website. The, the pro version is the dual system, so you'll get two transmitters. Lucky for you, I don't have that yeah. either. I'm going to cry. <laughs> it's so yeah, you can hear yourself in stereo. You can put one on either shoulder, you know? <laughs> Something else we um we haven't mentioned is it has got a, I don't I don't think you mentioned uh, it is it's got a built-in condenser microphone correct. as well so you don't even have to use uh, a lav mic if you don't want to you can just clip this straight on to your talent um, or put it in like a shirt pocket if you are shooting something like a wedding that works really well and you can get really clear, uh, crisp audio and you don't even have to take anything else with you just take the we ten yeah oh Toshi thank you very much Toshi has been using that uh, wireless microphone. Um, and loving it, so he had, he suggested that he does a video for that. So follow Joshi if you can on YouTube and then find out. Toshi, so you rock, man. <laughs> so uh, this question we answered earlier, but uh, he asked again, uh, what's included in the box? Uh, we talked about there is uh, you got a lavalier mic, uh, the one that yeah. David is holding right now, pointing. You got the cable right, for man. for DS, uh, DSLR T, uh, TRS cable TRRS cable. You got a wing, wing muffler for the microphone for the mm. device and a charging cable, USB C charging cable. So that all there. So if you haven't see, here, the, you didn't join early, uh, you can just I like you, to, you can like... rewind it to, to, to do that mm. uh, to, to watch the beginning of the, the video. But yeah, so the price again is one sixty nine for the WE ten, say one sixty nine ninety nine. And WE10 Pro is two forty nine ninety nine. 
So the pro one is basically had two version, two watt transmitter, and then one receiver. Um, so we, <laughs> this is still early. I was going to talk more about this, uh, but I guess uh, anything we can talk about the wireless microphone before we go to the MP10. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's a good question. John has this very really good question. And yes, you can use different uh, lavalier microphones with it because I actually tried uh, my WE1, which I don't have a 10, I had a one and it works. So I'm very sure you can use any um, regular lab mics to, to plug it in there, it should work. So if you want to use a um, uh, Sennheiser lab mic on that, it should be able to make it work. Yeah, I tried my uh, Sennheiser lab microphone with it this afternoon and it worked fine, so yeah. There you go. Work. So we got Chris, and uh, he's got the expert that. So how do you use? Why? Uh, let's go, go with definitely. Definitely. How do you use your wireless microphone? Yeah. Well, surprisingly, uh, one feature that it's kind of like not related to filmmaking exactly, but you can use this as a quick little voiceover memo tool, just with the built-in recording feature. It doesn't necessarily need to be connected to the uh, receiver in order to record audio. So you can just. It's a little hard to see if the wind muffs will take that off, but little record switch here. You can pop it on and just leave a quick mental note. And turn off and you have it saved so that's one feature of it that actually i do use nice nice and what about you chris yeah so i i do use mine for wedding films um that's my bread and butter where i make the where i make my uh, income from so uh wedding films is a really big point um really big place that i use this microphone but i also use it for my youtube videos um so it's I, I do use a boom mic sometimes, but I also use a wireless microphone if I'm out in the field testing something. Um, and it's really handy to have something which I know isn't going to cut out necessarily when I'm using that record function when I'm getting a long way away from my camera. So yeah, yeah. that's how I, how I use it. So the longer this, the transmission distance is 165 feet, which is what? Uh, 50. 93 meters? Oh, 50 meters. 50 so meters. Like so yeah. remember, this is two, using uh, 2.4 gigahertz transmission frequency, which means that if there is a lot of uh, interferences, you will not go reach that far off. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes buildings, metal buildings and such, or you know, phone can, can provide, can transmit those uh, interference, the frequency that can inter interfere with the communication. So keep that in mind. Um, I don't think you are want to run around 160 feet meters, uh, feet or feet away from from the camera, and do your stuff. But that's quite far the distance. 50 meter, 50 meters, very far too. You know, in the sense of using it for anything. But you, you know, the comfort zone I would say 30 meters to to 40 meters. That'll be the safest place where you don't have any interferences. But and uh, it's line of sight as well, isn't it? Yes, a line of sight. Yeah. So something that people might want to bear in mind is if you are shooting something like a wedding um, where your talent is moving around, I would advise like don't put it on the inside pocket of a jacket, put it on the outside pocket, but just like tucked in um, because that can obviously it's not line of sight if there's a piece of clothing in the way. Yeah. I've been stung by that before. <laughs> so that, mean, that also means that if you're walking down the street and then you decide to turn a corner, uh, yeah. <laughs> you will be you, you're still going to have problem with that. So don't do that. You know, it's trying to be line of sight. So that's the best way to, to, to explain it. And don't forget the human body actually also absorbs the uh, energy from the radio waves too. So, you know, if they're turned away, their chest could be actually literally blocking the signal. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I was going to say, you could talk about the 5G conspiracy theory, but that's a different story. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're full of water, meat and water, you know, kind of. Yeah, you're floaty. right. We are full yeah. of water in our body. Yeah. So it, that, that might be a, a huge interference. So you had to make sure that you got the right, um, and, and, and make sure that you get it correctly uh, in the line of sight so this way you don't have loose uh, connections or loose uh, interference. But here's a good thing. Remember that it does have micro SD card that you can record into the transmitter. So even you lose sight, you're still recording and then you can always yeah. recover it back. Just yeah. look it on. I like, the, I like the fact that you have uh, five different options that you can change the game so you can go the quiet mode to the loudest one. So that's always a, a very important part of the thing. Game roll off. Let's see. Yeah. Let's... Oh, this gentleman uh, said that he had tried in 65 meters and working good. All right, yeah. that's good for him. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't chance it, but if it worked for you, you know, that's all, all, all powerful, yeah. And uh, that's a good comment about destroying the human body. So we'll post it out there. Now, let's talk about the shotgun mic. Um, da, da, da. I'm going to. Like Chris, go ahead. You talk first. 
Uh, okay. I'm literally in love with this microphone. Um, I got it maybe a month and a half ago. I'm actually using it right now. It's mounted just here. There you go. So that's that's the MP10. That's what all my audio is coming through uh, for this video. Um, what do we get in the box? There's not much in my box left. You do get uh, the wind muff and you get a little stand, a little clip for the stand. Um, but it's such a good, high quality microphone. I've compared it to a couple of different microphones. Notably, I've got um, a Rode NTG2, um, which is I've actually reviewed this on my channel and I reviewed it comparing it against the Rode NTG2 and it just blew my mind. I just think it's a really great quality, affordable shotgun microphone. What else can I say? Really, yeah, really yeah, good. Yeah, definitely, definitely. How about you, Dad? Definitely. You know, I, I just like Chris, I'm a huge fan of the MP10. Surprisingly, it's a, a really good microphone that produces a quite adequate audio sound. And I was going to say, yeah, uh, I've compared it, the MP10 to uh, other microphones I own, and I have a... Uh, quite an experience with microphones. Uh, my family used to own a recording studio, so I've worked with many different types of microphones, and I'm going to compare this to a microphone that essentially, in the audio world, we wouldn't necessarily ever compare them because they're uh, essentially two different microphones for two different tasks, but this is a Neumann U87 with a tube mod, and it is essentially a mm, very good microphone, great for all sorts of types of recording, but it's my baseline comparison for comparing uh, microphones and the MP10 here does a great job of uh, meeting my audio expectations in comparison to this microphone so in terms of recommending the MP10 I highly recommend it it's a very affordable microphone when you compare it to uh, you know relics like these which can cost you know a couple of thousands of dollars you can own a hundred dollar microphone that sounds pretty equatable so we do have a question for WE10 right just now. Uh, is it waterproof? I don't think it's waterproof. Anybody know? It's. I would go with it's um, weather-ish proof, but I mean... Weather resistant. Is, weather is, thank you, thank you, weather resistant. The, the capsule is mounted all the way back here. So it's not, you know, it's not gonna, you know, get a lot of moisture on it per se, but then again, yeah, you, you probably don't want to use this in a rainstorm. I mean, you don't want to put underwater. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, if you put the, 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 the wind muff on it here, sorry, I'm trying to get my, get my camera always backwards, but this will help keep the rain off it. But yeah, I mean, you can use it outside in, in moist conditions. Just don't let it get too soaked. I mean, it, yeah, it, so here's a good mind. question here, too. The MP10 does say it supports sound filtering technology from wind no. and noise and wind. Nope, it does not. It's a very, yeah. very, it's actually a metal base, right? It's actually a very, you can use to hit somebody ahead. It can kill someone. <laughs> well, yeah. It, 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 the re how it cancels out sound is because the capsule is located all the way back here, and due to these kind of fish thin design, I'm poorly explaining it. My father, who's the audio engineer, could do a much better job. But the the idea is basically this. Ah, God, this helps cut cut out other frequencies. But basically, this is a super cardioid microphone, which means whatever you point it at, it's going to focus in on here. It's like a laser eye vision. So it's here's, not going to... Yes, here's yeah. a very good example. So yeah. I'm talking to it right now to this microphone, yeah. which is about, uh, let's put it about two feet away over here. So I'm going to move this a little bit. And I'm going to keep talking. You can hear that my voice is going to not pick it up clearly anymore. And obviously when I turn to the back here, um, you probably hardly can hear that much about the two. So now mm -hmm. I'm facing away from me and you won't be able to hear it you know, facing to the camera. So you won't be able to hear my voice that much. Computer facing the toward my camera, uh, toward me, then you can hear it. And just about two feet distance uh, from my mouth. And so I like this shotgun mic. Um, I actually did some pretty, pretty cool stuff with it. I do have the Sennheiser uh, 600 here, but it's never been on. So you've been listening to this microphone all this time. Um, I thought I had it on, but it didn't. So I'm gonna turn it on right now so you can hear the difference. So there's both and going at the same time right now. So I have the left side of my me or the right side of your screen is the uh, the Murfag MP10, and then we had the Sennheiser MKE 600 here. Reason I had this one because I had this one for over 10 years and it's still working really well. Now price wise for this, the Murfag is 2.99. It comes with anybody want to mention that? Talk about it. A wind muff. And a clip, a clip that goes to the um, uh, boom pole or go to the mic stand. 
It's got a reducer. It's, it can do like a, uh, I think three eighths. It can do three eighths, and then it can do the standard uh, mic stand size, which I forget. It's quarter <laughs> inch. Quarter inch. Quarter inch. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So this is a good question here. Um, you know what? I was wondering. Uh, I have got a dead cat that goes on my Rode NTG2, so I could I could crack that out and see whether it actually fits. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. Um, yeah. Obviously, in outdoor, use a dead cat, use a blimp will help a lot uh, in, in, in the sense of outdoor, so you reduce the all the winds and such. I'm just going to turn you down whilst I put it on because it'll be okay. horrible otherwise. Dun, dun, dun. But the reality is, your, your dead cat, you really wouldn't use it in, inside. It's because no, it's no, essentially, exactly. yeah. Um, but this doesn't actually fit. So, this <laughs> is, so the Rode NTG2, which I think is quite a universal diameter, uh, this is a bit wider, if it makes sense. So if I put this on, it'll just slide back off. Oh, so mm. that's going to work. So it so might yes. not work the universal one. That's why I'm. But. I, I can speak more to the fact of you know using a uh, whatever uh, the dead cat inside, it. and the reality is you, you don't need to. It is essentially uh, restricting some amount of sound coming into it, but it's ever so ever so minor, like fairy farts. Or I mean, you're really gonna have to turn up the gain on your audio system to hear the difference between using or not using it. Yeah. But essentially outside, yeah, do definitely do use it. It'll help cut down the wind. But you know, physically, this microphone is designed to reject, you know, frequencies as they approach it from different sides. So, you know, as Johnny was showing, as he panned his microphone, you could actually hear the frequency of his voice change as uh, certain frequencies weren't being, or were being rejected from the microphone as he moved it, so. And this question, uh, mm -hmm. is it made of metal or plastic? Oh, metal. Metal, metal. Yeah. Aluminium, I want to say. Probably shouldn't do that, though. PNC process <laughs> brass metal. That's a brass, brass metal. I'm brass, looking at the yeah. website right now. Right, yeah, because <laughs> there's really cool pictures of how it's made on the website. Uh, there's like yeah, a great yeah. of, of the components, which is really cool. No, it's sturdy. I mean. <laughs> and how tall is this microphone? This is about what, eight, 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 eight inches? Um, no, it's more than eight inches. Here's like my forearm. Like, uh, So probably about actually... Well, we don't have a, you know, is it on the website, the length? I, I feel like it's, it's definitely over eight. It's 10. Yeah, 10. 10 inches. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I just measure it too. <laughs> so most of the uh, 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 stores are on, on, you know, you can buy different kind of blink. And most of the blink, majority blink shoe at the fitness in there, we actually use it. I have two videos I'm going to show right now. Um, so I'm going to show... Um, definitely video first because I really like it. Oh, wow, thank you, thank you. Wait, can I introduce it a little bit? Give people yeah, a little... I introduce that a little bit. Yeah, let me introduce this little video. I, I'm a huge fan of birds. It's been that way for a long time, sorry. But <laughs> uh, we have hummingbirds that live outside my building here and uh, I've been filming and photographing them for years and this time I decided to experiment with the, uh, I have two NP10s and I was going to see about trying to create some sort of a stereo hummingbird soundscape. So you're going to see an Anna, hum Anna hummingbird, which is the green one you'll see first, and you'll see a Rufus hummingbird, which is the kind of coppery brownish one, and they definitely don't like each other. So uh, enjoy. And then I'll watch the, uh, the set out of the camera, to, uh, the microphones. There. And if you have headphones, like if you have headphones, we'll, uh, go grab them, put them on, because uh, to best experience the stereo sound effect of the hummingbirds <laughs> flying around, you got to have the headphones on. All right, so go ahead. We're going to play this. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Hummingbird battles are very quick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so you, you, set up, so you set up with two MP10 mm -hmm. uh, shotgun mics, and then um, it just recorded. How long did it take you to actually see the birds flying through the whole thing? 
Um, I used a Zoom recorder to record them then, um, but it, you know, it took the birds a little bit of time to get used to the microphones out there because they're kind of really up in their feeder space, so they were uh, a little apprehensive, and definitely that Rufus hummingbird you see at the end of the video that's guzzling down the nectar from the feeder, uh, earlier on, uh, he was uh, very, very frustrated by the presence of the microphones and showed his uh, distaste very, very, very... <laughs> There's a, if you want to watch the whole video, it's up on the uh, Murfac Audio uh, YouTube channel and uh, on our TikTok also, too. So uh, check oh, out nice. Murfac Audio on TikTok. But uh, yeah, there's 10 minutes long of hummingbird magic if you guys so choose to watch. Sweet, sweet. So I've got a question here from Mass Fundy. Hmm. Uh, is that support to use for smartphones? Well, for the MP10 <laughs> for smartphones, well, is it okay if I show the N2? No, that's a different product. Joke. <laughs> Sorry. The answer is probably no, unless you have a gear, additional gear to power the microphone. Because yeah. this is a shotgun mic that does not have a phantom power, so which means it does not have batteries in it. Because it doesn't have battery, you will not be able to use it in a smartphone or, or, or directly to the DSLR uh, because of that. So you had to use it's a professional Requires quality. Phantom power. Yeah. So it requires power, phantom power to be a yeah. Unlike the MK600, where you can actually put a battery there that you can actually use mm -hmm. it on a smartphone. But this is way more expensive, uh, 349 to $399 one. Well, this is $299, $299 dollars right now on sale on marfagaudio.com. And it sounds exactly the same, you know? Like there's <laughs> not much to tell the difference between them. Well, you know? uh, well let's, do that quick, let's do the quick yeah. test here right now. So. I have both of them on right now. You're here in the stereo. So one is the left side, one is the right side. I am going to turn off the Murfac one right now. This is only the, I'm only about uh, a feet away. I'm going to put it four feet, away, two feet away. Here, two feet away from the microphone, maybe toward my head, my mouth. And I'm talking right now directly to the microphones. And you can only actually hear from the MK600. This is from the Sennheiser microphone audio. You are hearing right now for the Sennheiser uh, microphone audio which is the Sennheiser MKE 600. So I'm going to turn off that one. You're probably not going to hear me anything at all. And just turn on the Murphy MP10. I'm same distance, two feet away from the microphones. I'm talking here right now. This is the uh, Murphy MP10 uh, shotgun mic. And um, you, what do you think about qualities for you guys? Uh, I, I, you know, <laughs> You know, if a blindfolded test, I, I couldn't tell the difference, frankly. You know, like, it's, uh, yeah. it's very, very unnoticeable. <laughs> yeah. So the other I thing mean, I want to let you guys know, I'm using the Mix Pre 6 recorder, which mm -hmm. is uh, the part two. And the other cool, cool thing about it is I said both of them in the same game. The game is in 28. So they all said exactly the same. So there's nothing fancy here, nothing different, and everything the same. And except for the difference is one left left ear and one is the right ear. And you barely can notice the difference. And I actually been using both of them on movie set because I make lots of different movies. We we use the movie set. I now realize that uh, I liking the NP10 a lot more. So my set high set has been retired. So it's been using it you know, stay in the shelf and mm -hmm. kept it forever. Uh, so I'm gonna share this, let's show you a video I put together. This is a we just shot this little short uh, part of this part of the feature film, and this was shot this past Saturday. Saturday, yeah, at one location, and we used the Murphy MP10 microphone to to do it. And the microphone was about four feet away from the actor, and you can hear, uh, you can see it now. Three, two, one, go. Have you ever heard of Santarini? Do you want me to teach you? <laughs> that was it that was very short and simple um we actually used for the whole day shoot um on, at the same location by different short films but i'm not allowed to show the film so i can't show you anything there um all right this question I, we just answered that earlier uh, it doesn't have any battery in it. You need to have a phantom power to be able to apply supply to the shotgun mic. Otherwise, it will not work. So that's about the line. 
Yeah, any any common question for you, Chris? And uh, definitely talk, suggest things. So, what else do we do with them besides bird watching? Definitely, <laughs> I, I use it for a real estate video. You know, just like many of us all have it. You know, position off camera. You know, on a on a mic stand just above, like you know, where I'm speaking, and uh, it's cool. I you know, I frankly, what I like about it is is as I was pointing out the difference between I was showing my uh, I don't have to grab it here, but this microphone's already sort of like EQ with that sort of, um, I, I want to call it a radio sound, a radio voice sound, but it does a great job of uh, accentuating the uh, impact of a person's speaking voice and getting the, that, uh, I guess the, the person's tone across. Sorry, I'm being not so eloquent with it, but uh, let me grab this here. Like uh, most microphones are, are designed to, you know, capture as much frequency as possible or, you know, much frequency range, like this one on my left hand. Um, the MP10 is really designed to go after the human speaking voice range of tones. So it's going to grab those and pull that out of the, uh, I guess, surrounding audio noise and focus in on that versus, you know, what this microphone will do, which will pick up more uh, sound around it. I hope that makes sense. How about you? For you, Chris, what do you use it for? Uh, okay, so I, people say you're not supposed to use shotgun microphones indoors. You're not to, supposed to use them for studio setups, but that's exactly how I use mine. Yeah. <laughs> I, try, I don't care what anybody else says. I go out and I try everything I've got, and I see which one sounds the best, and that's what I go with. Um, so don't listen to what everyone says. Um, so how yeah. far away is it right now your shotgun mic to your mouth? <laughs> Two feet. As good as I do. That's so funny. So I'm here, uh, a foot, so 12, uh -huh. 12 inches. Okay. 12 inches away. But you know what? This microphone is good for my YouTube videos and stuff like that when I'm on camera and I want that I want there not to be a microphone in shot. But if I pull it down and I talk a little bit quieter, I think like this is a really good microphone for voiceover work as mm -hmm. well. Because um, I do lots of voiceovers in my channel, and when, when, when I'm not on screen, I still want that really crisp audio. And I've used loads of different microphones in the past, loads of condenser microphones, loads of shotgun microphones. And this is the one which is currently above my desk, and it's the one that I'm using. So that says a lot. Excellent, excellent. So I've got a couple, couple of questions here. I'm going to ask uh, answer this That's one. That's what I'm saying, man. It's got a great tone. It's just All right, here's the one. Tone. What's the frequency of this microphone? Well, I mean... It's on the know. website. It's on the website, <laughs> but I mean that it's more it's more appropriate. What do you want to use the microphone for? You know, that's that's you know, what are you trying to record? Not not necessarily the you know frequency response because this this microphone is essentially designed to record human speaking dialogue. You know, so it's not. Um, I would you know. Yeah, the um, N, the MP10 is a shotgun mic, which means yeah. that it's a, a directional mic to go to the person yeah. or the direct angle. That's why they call it shotgun because where you aim at it is where you're going to be. You can hear the better sound. When you're away from it, it doesn't sound that good. Um, the frequency on the website it says uh, it the range is from 40 hertz to 16 kilohertz. So yeah. that's the frequency of the of the uh, shotgun mic. And again, um, Kali, we just mentioned that earlier. There is no battery on the MP10. The MP10 no. is a shotgun mic that requires phantom power. Which is a 48, uh, 48 plus volt to be able to be able to make it work. So you need to have a recorder like a Mix Pre Six like this one here, or a Zoom or a Tascam mm -hmm. recorder to be able to work. Or you can connect it to your mixer like the one that Devin have in the back of him. That you can have uh, have a uh, uh, Phantom Power feed turn on, and that that will actually work. So there's no battery, so you're not going to be able to work connect directly to the DSLR. So that's going to be, um, it uses XLR cables. And so, okay, John Matthew mentioned that. Here's the thing, you if you're, like I mentioned earlier, this is, you, even though you have a XLR to, to audio jack adapter, if, if you don't have the power to, to run the shotgun mic, you won't be able to use it on the DSLR or your phone without a recorder. It just because it required battery to fun function and the battery does not include it. So you had to have a, a recorder that have a phantom power uh, feature that can uh, feed power into it. And, and also, if you oh, you can go, Chris, go for it. Oh, go ahead, Chris. If you, 
also get some cameras which can uh, provide phantom power. Like mm -hmm. Sony, Sony I FS5, forgot about that. Yeah. G, yeah, some of those cameras can hmm. supply phantom power, so you could rig this straight on top of the camera and use it on those cameras. Yeah, like the uh, camcorders. Both camcorders you can you have, 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 that have XDR connectors. Right. For iPhone. I know I the Black Market Pack is 4K. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think I, I think we were saying the same thing. Okay, the Black Magic, uh, the Black Magic Packet 4K has a, a Mini XLR in, and then it actually can provide phantom power. So for that, you can use a uh, XLR, the Mini XLR cable, that should work. But again, this is mostly say, for. I'm sorry. Oh, I was gonna say probably any camera that's offering balanced audio connections will probably right. offer. So it. Um, so any any cameras or DSLR that uh, not DSLR, yeah, the DSLR that use um, uh, that have XLR cable input. Most likely, they have phantom power feature that can make it work. And yeah, and speaking about adapting downwards, you really don't want to do that. These are RCA cables here. We were experimenting with this earlier, and it's just it creates so much grounding issue noise because these cables are not balanced; they're not as shielded as well as a balanced audio connection. So it's just you know you want to stay XLR or you know tip ring slit. You want to stay balanced. <laughs> right. Right. And currently, the microphone, the Shaka mine have a sale. It's a four nine, uh, two ninety nine out of a uh, three ninety nine. So it's hundred dollar right. less. Um, so and it's worth it. It's, it's worth dude, it. This thing, this thing it punches up above its weight class. I have to say, you know, like it's taking on a Sennheiser microphone, which has been around for many, many audio decades. You know, like Sennheiser's a brand I go with. No, no questions asked. But you know, yeah. Um, I'm probably eventually going to do a test with the Sennheiser 416, which I mm. had to borrow from my friend, but I don't have it here today. So I won't be able to show you guys uh, how that works. Any other questions you guys have or any comments, uh, Chris, Let's and see. I definitely you want to offer? You know what? I love the box that it comes in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but oh. when I got this and I slid it out of that cardboard, I was like, that looks like such a nice premium box. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. Someone's asking uh, about uh, Domez is offering uh, the product that transmits sound in the best quality well among wireless microphones. I guess because he's asking which one transmits the best sound. What do you think? That's a very good question. I mean, uh, that's basically you could be uh, trying to talk about every, every type of wireless microphone because we have a UHF wireless microphone, you have also 2.4 gigahertz uh, range wireless microphone. And then you also have those cheap one of the uh, use uh, what? Uh, rate, uh, Bluetooth microphone too, wireless microphone. Mm. So it's all dependent distance. They all probably the same quality. It's all only different is the distance and the build. Um, and yeah. you know, you want to have the best one, you want to get considered electronic wireless microphone, which is $1,200 and more. But that's a really, really good ones. Um, and then you want to consider other, other um, Prosumer one, you get you have Sennheiser, you got Rode, you got a whole bunch of different microphones. Now you have Murfac that, that you want to consider that too. So there's a lot of options. So it's it's all dependent on your how you want to use how much money you want to spend. And obviously, um, I have no problem with any of the gears I have using here that they have last forever and you know they don't die, not even this. So I'm very happy with that. And, and you know, more to that audio technology, frankly, really hasn't changed all that much, you know, compared to this to this nowadays. They're really using pretty identical stuff they're using 50 plus years ago to now. So, uh, you know, when you're looking at, you know, is Murfac a, a comparable brand to Sennheiser or other brands, it actually really is because the principles that this microphone is built on are pretty much the same principles this microphone was built on. Yes, yeah, this is yeah. a slightly different design, but the reality is that but I think uh, the, the new one, the, mm. the one you have, the silver one, is not a omnidirectional one. It's a more, it's omnidirectional, not unidirectional. It's pattern selectable. It's pattern oh, selectable. Okay. So you can do cardioid, super cardioid, uh, figure eight, you know, uh, you can quite do, you can do a lot with her. But, uh, you know, <laughs> this is entirely a different other piece. When someone's talking about capturing audio frequencies, you know, this is definitely a microphone with a much greater range. But right. you can see they're physically different you know so they're for different purposes yeah. this i would not use on a film set because this, as uh, i was saying it can capture sound in all sorts of directions very sensitive this thing's going to pick up people you know jiggling change in their pockets kind of stuff you know whereas this microphone you point it at your subject 
it's going to get your subject. It's not going to get the guy in the background, you know, having a top, you know, conversation on his phone or something, you know. This will, you know, so. <laughs> All right, Something Chris, else. how about you? Yeah, I was going to say, jumping back to the previous comment about the best quality oh, yeah. uh, wireless microphone. Um, By the way, you might, your audio is a little bit lower than the bit before. Oh, is it? I'll just turn myself up a little bit. Is that better? Yeah, thank you. Um, so it doesn't really matter what lapel microphone you use with this. Is, that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say if you had a really expensive uh, lapel microphone and you plugged it into this and then you plugged it into a different wireless microphone system and then a different wireless microphone system, it's going to sound pretty much the same. It's not the transmitter and the receiver which offer anything to do with the sound quality, really. Um, it's just the signal. That's what I was going to say. So if you've got yourself a decent lav mic, then you're just comparing how well the signal transmits. That's what these do. Yeah, fair, yeah, fair comment. Yeah. Um, or, but also you've got that internal recording. So if you are using a more expensive lav microphone, then these are great. Definitely looks like you want to shoot somebody with a little shotgun mic. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just, you know, something to do with my hands, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Hey, uh, so someone's asking about uh, how they're going to win. How are they going to win themselves? Well, that being asking, a lot of people have been asking that, so I just ignore that for now, uh, just because <laughs> we're getting to the point pretty soon. Okay, this is a good one. Um, how much does it wait for the shotgun mic? Man, that's a very. I mean, question. I have to go to the blog here, but it really not that much. Like, yeah, I just got my my scale. I haven't opened it up yet, so I'm not going to even talk. Here, we'll compare it to iPhone. Uh, very equatable to an iPhone <laughs> 10, I'd say. You know, I mean, <laughs> one iPhone, one iPhone at least. Yeah, yeah, it's quite light. Yeah. yeah, it's very light. And that's a world build. I, when I first opened the box, I was like, holy cow, this is really, really looking professional looking shotgun mic. Um, I was very impressed with the quality. I was very impressed mm -hmm. with the packaging. Everything was really, really good. And the only thing plastic on it is the uh, microphone clip that comes with it. I mean, this whole thing is yeah. metal all the way through. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have to say, when I got mine, I hadn't heard of Murfac before mine arrived in the post, and I opened it up and I thought, whoa, how have I not heard of this brand mm. that make this awesome product? Um, and then trying it out kind of reinforced that for me. It was just an awesome, awesome model thing. Yeah, so totally, uh, you guys, definitely go to the website, and, um, uh, subscribe to the, 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 this, the, the YouTube channel, and then order your Shaka mic now, the MP10, because, because you know, it's... It's available right now for four nine four ninety nine uh two ninety nine, which is a hundred dollars cheaper than the than the original pricing for it. So you mm -hmm. get get it's a good price to get and then it's worth it. So it, it's actually pretty cool. It's a great value, two ninety nine and it's a, a well built microphone. I mean I would even compare it to a, a sure fifty seven in terms of its build quality. I, I had that. Yeah. The, the the joke about these fifty sevens is they say you can hammer nails with them. The MP10, I, I think you do some fine, fine nail work with. Maybe not some heavy nail work, but but yeah. All right, so it's time to uh, offer some uh, winning opportunities to all the uh, people watching this. So how this is this is how we do We work. Each one of them going to ask a question, a different time rather, and then uh, the first person who respond the right correct answer from the the quote from the from each one of them will win. Uh, the price. So let's say definitely gonna ask a question, mm. and the first person we see who we see on our screen, and actually have the answer correctly, uh, said type in the correct answer, then the person will win the wireless microphone. Or and then if Chris uh, asks a question, and then the first person we see on our screen have the correct answer, then we'll win the shotgun mic. So we have we can definitely go first for the wireless microphone, and then Chris can go for the for the shotgun mic. So okay. I'll let the, the our guests to think about a good question that they already answered or responded. <laughs> That's kind of scary. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that that you, they, they, they talked about earlier. And remember to join the Murfa Audio User Group. That's on Facebook. Just because uh, sometimes you will get lots of special uh, sales pricing, a special coupon or, 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 a, or, or a raffles and giveaway that can happen in there that you actually be able to have a chance to participate. All right, definitely, you're ready for your question. 
Oh yeah, I'm ready. Are you guys ready for my question? I mean, it's gonna be a pretty tough one. Nobody is responding, say anything right now. That's mean they're waiting for answering the question. <laughs> they're like on the edge of their seat. Don't just say <laughs> what you want, okay? Um, okay, my question is: What file format does the WE10 record to? Oh my god, I don't even remember now. <laughs> 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 All right, so first person with you on the screen. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. No, sadly <laughs> not wave. I know it's they're probably not going to hey. really guess it. Why do I oh, oh, someone got it. Someone got it. John, John got it. John D R G. There we go. John. Oh, John. Ding, 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 ding. So you know how that works. Uh, send me a private um, an Instagram or f actually prefer Facebook, and then I'll connect you with Merfrack people, and then they will get your name, address, um, all the information needed, and then this way they will ship you the wireless microphone. Congratulations for winning this. Congratulations. You're the first right? Get a oh, microphone clap. In here. <laughs> all right, so we got that one. Uh, John has been a, a, a avid listener for the beginning. I remember seeing him all the time. Oh, Dude, so that's pretty cool. That could be yours. The next one we are ruffling off right now is the Shotgun Mai, the MP10. And uh, Chris? Well, I'm gonna, my question is something that we've found out on this stream, and it isn't anywhere mm. on the internet. So fingers crossed. You'd, oh. You have to have been paying attention. I don't uh, remember so, now. <laughs> <laughs> How long is the MP10 in inches? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> How long is the MP10? Still got people answering the last question. Got it. Somebody already got it. <laughs> hey, Gary. <laughs> Gary's been paying a lot of attention. He, he made a nice comment about my YouTube video earlier, so he deserves oh, to. Oh, he's been paying <laughs> hey, extra just special attention. Here, you know, you, you, you shouldn't give him favors for that. <laughs> so, Gary, you should say the same thing for my YouTube channel and I'll definitely uh, Instagram. <laughs> Well, congratulations, Gary. You you won the shotgun mic. Uh, again, the same thing. Send me uh, a DM or actually better Facebook uh, Messenger message. Uh, my information is on the screen earlier. I don't know if I see it now. There you go. Oh, you, oh, my my, uh, my name at MDI Film. And then um, I'll connect you with um, uh, Murphy people. And this way, they will send you the, the shotgun mic. And you're going to love it. And definitely, I would recommend all the winners, uh, John and Gary, that when you use it, your product, make sure you take pictures, tag Murfrag Audio, and so you know, let people know that you have a great product that you're using. So, any and um, so at the end, we want to know definitely how people can reach out to you if they want to know more. Um, about you reach out to me at Gimbal Guru, or uh, we'd love you to join our new TikTok channel, which is uh, Murfrag Audio on TikTok. So, please send us a, a a like? How does it work again with TikTok? Uh, I feel like the old man. <laughs> and I don't know how to use it. I Send us a dance. Is that, what, is that how they add us? They, they, they dance. They dance. Send us a dance, please. Oh, I'm too old. <laughs> so I cool. know. You know what we should probably do in the future? We should do a competition or dance competition and then the best dancer wins a product. Yeah, why not? Let's totally make it unrelated to the film. Fine with that. Exactly. exactly. You know? But uh, yeah, please join us on TikTok. We, we'd love to have some more followers, some likes. Um, and also, if anyone wants to collaborate uh, on TikTok, let us know. We're, we'd be happy to send you product. Exactly. All right. Anyway, what about you? For Chris, how, are we gonna, how people can reach out to you? Uh, come and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Chris Watkins Media. Um, I'm so close to 10,000 subscribers. And it's my birthday soon, so I want to get there before my birthday. So come <laughs> Happy on, early birthday, birthday, dude. <laughs> When's my birthday? Beginning of May, 6th of May. So oh, I'm, okay. I'm 400 subscribers away, so I need 400 people to go over for and 10, do that. For 10,000? Yeah, for 10,000. Wow, so that's pretty cool. excited about it. Um, and also, I've got a Facebook group, which is the Chris Watkins Media Facebook. Chris Watkins Media Group. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, where you can ask me questions. You can request product, re uh, product reviews, uh, share your own stuff, just... Come and join in, basically. So yeah. When I type in Chris Watkins, I get Chris Watkins the actor. That's not me. That's not no. He's better looking than me, probably. <laughs> but hey, brother, I just gave you a subscribe, so yeah, you're ready. Thank go. you. So, one more. Yeah. One, one closer. Thank you very yeah, much. I you're at nine point six k. So good luck, man. Yeah. Keep going. And uh, yeah. on the uh, Facebook group that we are in earlier, uh, just send me a, a, your link. I can subscribe to it, so you can gain. Thank a, you. I, I appreciate it. 
Wow. Oh, hey, is Chris Watkins you. the guy playing the violinist? Is that you? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, definitely. It was funny, man. Uh, I'm just right, thank you, everybody, for watching this. I appreciate mm. you guys. I uh, enjoyed this. We do have another live stream from um, uh, from Guts and Mosa, not with you guys, but mm. I've got to have one in two weeks from uh, uh, April 20, April 29. I think it's April 20. That's Thursday. Yeah, April 29, Thursday. We have another live stream for uh, different products too. So, you know, hopefully you guys can come in and join us again. And yeah. again, thanks to everybody being here. Thank you, Chris, okay. and definitely being here well, with us. Uh, thank you, Johnny. Uh, thank stay you. in the platform mm -hmm. here until uh, after the broadcast is ended, then we can talk a little more. Cool. Have a hey, good thanks night. Thanks, everybody. Big thank you to Johnny for hosting us and all the free giveaways from Johnny. <laughs> not from Johnny. I'm not giving away stuff. <laughs> you are the giveaway.